G'day guys, Tills20 here and welcome back to Marble Mountain. Last week we began work on the desert city and we're back building it. We've only just started scratching the surface of what this place is going to look like, mostly how it's connected up with the rest of Marble Mountain and a couple of roads, a couple of highways, a little bit of rail infrastructure, but today we've got to figure out how all that infrastructure is going to work because there's going to be a lot of people coming to the city. It's a very important tourist destination, being a casino city, uh, taking vibes from Reno and Las Vegas. We've got to try and make this place really well supported for the masses. So that's the work for today. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I need to work on these highways. Uh, most importantly, how the highway is going to connect up to these avenues, which this road here, this road is the main road coming into the city. This gave me the main uh, casino drag where a lot of the casinos are going to sit. This interchange here, uh, look, I think I need to, I think I need to make a custom one. And mostly because it's just a touch too big and a little bit wonky in areas. Uh, the main thing as well that I don't like about it is that it goes over this main road and I just think it's a little weird for so many of these off ramps to be going over a main road going into the city. So I do think that in order for this to look right, this main road needs to be elevated over this interchange and not as many of these ramps just sort of squiggling all over the place. We need to make it a little bit more connected up. So I'll make a custom one. Actually, what I'm vibing for that is this one. Uh, this is the main drag going into Las Vegas and I need to be doing something similar to that. The only drama with this is that this interchange is pretty far, there's a big distance between the two. Whereas my version, not as big. So we need to figure out how that's gonna work. Um, but I do love this interchange. I do wanna try and get something like this, but I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> try and avoid mods and assets from the workshop. So we'll just uh, see what we can do with that. Um, but what I do love about this is the way that it does connect up with other um, avenues around here. So the the off-ramps coming off this interchange actually just connect straight up. So I'm going to try and do some stuff like that. Um, and then when it comes to the avenues coming into our tourist drag, I mean, we've got to try and we're going to try and do some stuff like this. But, and this is a really big but, we need to make sure that when we build these interchanges coming into our city, we're going to try and make sure they're not too big. Because if they are, then they start dwarfing the rest of the city. We need to make sure they're in scale. Uh, we don't have a huge amount of space, but I still want this to feel and look like a city, even though it's not to actual scale. So we do need to be careful of how we place them down. Um, and speaking of that, this highway here, I mean, it's elevated at this stage, but I'm just going to lower it to something like this. And why, do you ask? Well, I believe that this highway lowered down is just going to make everything look a little less crowded. And I don't really want to be seeing this highway from every single angle. And if it's elevated, then I will. Uh, but now coming into the city, it, you, you know, you've got a bit more of a view of what our skyline is going to look like. So, you know, it's sometimes important just to shuffle around how highways look and how roads look and this train line too. I mean, we've got to figure out what this is going to do because at the moment we've just got this one train line coming into this city, but I think we might need a, just one, one extra one, or this needs to be branching off into other areas. One for, uh, one for industry and one for the Amtrak that's also going to connect up to the rest of the place. So yeah, I don't know where that station's going to go. Maybe here. Or there. I don't know. <laughs> We've got so much work to do. Oh, we'll figure that out. And then, the other thing I want to do in today's episode, we'll see if we get time for it. You know, in order to try and get the vibes of Las Vegas, I kind of think that we need to get a couple of, a couple of these bad boys. These concrete rivers. I don't know. There's just something about these things that I find very intriguing and quite interesting. So I kind of just want to make it. So we'll have a couple of them snaking around this city too. Uh, you know, we're trying to capture as many of the things that make up 
the essence of Las Vegas and Reno. So I'm trying to figure out what those aspects are besides just the casinos. Uh, you know, there's also a bunch of things to do with the rail. Like, what rail concepts am I going to try and squeeze into this place? Also trying not to repeat myself in different areas of Marble Mountain. So I don't have a huge amount of elevated rail going through the cities. So maybe this is the city that has that. I kind of like this. You know what? Let's do this. This is what our industrial rail line is going to look like. So let's do that. So yes, I'm going to be trying to figure out how the city is going to take shape. But the main focus for today is this bad boy down here and some of these guys and the rail infrastructure. So that's what we're going to get up to today. Wish me luck. Let's see how much I get done. So this build has given me a very different perspective on using pre-built and pre-made interchanges from the workshop because for a very long time I have just been using anyone from the Steam Workshop, anything that sort of fit and then I just plopped it down and was like, you know what, that's good enough. And I was planning on doing that for this one and I'm really glad that I've decided to make a custom one. And the reason why I say that is we end up making a custom interchange here that flows very nicely. It connects up to all the avenues just like I wanted it to and it also fits in uh, quite a lot of ramps that do divert traffic to some specific locations that I'm really happy that we're able to achieve. Plus, I also think it just fits within this area and I think it is a little bit more realistic the way that it ends up flowing. Plus, by making a custom one, you're able to figure out where you want some uh, other things to sit around here. So I'm starting to get a bit of an idea of the sort of suburbs that are going to interact with this interchange and where some of the casinos are going to sit too. Whereas I'd have to tailor all that depending on what my interchange was or whatever I selected from the workshop. So this has sort of changed my perspective on that. Uh, obviously sometimes you might grab something from the workshop, uh, but other times I think there is definite value in making your own, even if it is quite tedious, which honestly, they usually are. I'm not usually a person who enjoys making these um, big interchanges like this. However, I really enjoyed this process for some reason. I just really enjoyed making uh, this particular one. I think something that helps is just trying to follow one particular interchange and trying to recreate it because you end up just building something completely different anyway. But I think that because you are just following uh, one particular interchange, you're able just to copy the way that the ramps then connect up to the rest of the highway and I think I feel like that's always the hardest part is just trying to figure out how this is going to look in a realistic way and trying to make sure you're catering for every possible direction and need for a vehicle on this on this highway. So I did just copy this one, but it does look very different. Uh, one aspect that I did really like about this highway, and it's something that I've never really noticed before, and I'm sure I've driven on highways like this, I'm sure there are highways in Australia that look like this too, but what I noticed is that you have the main drag of the highway. If you're traveling into the city, you might be on this road. If you are going from one side of the city to the other, then you'd be on this main drag. But then if you are just making like a short trip on the highway, like if you're just jumping on it from the downtown and then you're going to a suburb that's like really close by or jumping onto the interchange, then there is this other section to the highway that's on either end and basically you can just take this road instead. Um, and then of course, if you're going to make a longer distance trip, if you're gonna jump out of the city, then you'd probably use one of the inside lanes. And I just found that really interesting. I'm sure there's a technical name for it. If you want to hit me up in the comments, I don't know what that name is. But yeah, I just thought it was quite interesting and I've never built anything like that in City Skyline. So that was my attempt. It wasn't like a great attempt, but the nice thing is that you will see it work. Uh, you'll see in a little bit. I will actually place down a couple of parks within the downtown area or at least where the casinos are going to sit just to see what traffic is like because obviously the only people using this, um, these highways and this interchange are people who are just coming from, uh, pretty much people who are just going to the main cities. Uh, they're not really stopping at this, at this place at, for any reason in particular. So I just placed down some parks just to see what the uh, traffic situation is like. Something else that I have built is I ended up building that connection to the main avenue that's here. That's just connected from 
uh, this ramp that is pretty much the direct route from Montana. So if you are coming from Montana to um, this city, then yeah, you will actually just use this ramp to connect up to this uh, to this main drag, this main avenue. However, I just felt a little bit too close and we always knew that that was going to be a bit of an issue. I did mention that in the live play. So yeah, it's a little bit of a shame because it means that we have to then end up connecting to this other avenue which is not the main drag this is just another main road that is within this area so it's not like absolutely ideal it's not a deal breaker but uh, I was a little bit disappointed I tried to find different ways of potentially connecting them up but it just it just couldn't happen like I'd have to completely change the whole structure of the roads that are around here and it just I just couldn't make that happen so unfortunately it's just a little bit different to how I wanted it to to plan out but I still think it's gonna flow just fine I think it's gonna be very functional when we start get, plopping down all the casinos and get a bit of a population happening around here too uh, but it is actually quite nice seeing them connect up to this Avenue it is a little bit further away from the interchange too which is kind of this like really nice um, it like just diverts traffic really well and spreads traffic really well around the city which I think is gonna flow really well uh, by the way I'm saying flow a lot <laughs> already in this episode I have mentioned this but this always seems to be a word that you will say the most of in an episode and it's always a different words and today's word is flow so yeah just uh, just letting you know just letting you know that I'm aware before anyone starts commenting in the comment section, letting me know that I'm saying it a lot. Uh, so yeah, you can actually see that we are building a lot of ramps and instead of actually just toning them down, we're amping them up. Um, and that's totally fine because it just means that we are diverting traffic really well. A tricky part of this interchange was the fact that it is actually quite compact. I know it doesn't look very compact, but it is quite a small interchange considering how much is going on here um, and the problem with that is that I had to try and make sure that every uh, every ramp and every road had decent clearance um, and that was pretty hard when you have a lot of roads that are going over the top of each other so you can actually see that I've had to use um, a couple of tunnels just so that I can actually make sure that vehicles can actually travel safely because I always make sure that we've got enough clearance. Um, even if you might not notice, uh, I always try to make sure that there's a decent amount of clearance. And I guess the nice thing about these tunnels is because they are custom assets by Clues, they are all rendered in, in the actual tunnels and they actually, uh, they, they uh, decline really well too, so they're not they don't go on some like really weird angles. You can actually get them to do a really nice decline, which is something that is quite tricky when you are using vanilla roads. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a, like a nice aspect that I was able to achieve. Um, and now I'm starting to work around these, uh, I, I wish I did actually know the name of these type of roads, but I'm working on these outer skirt roads. Um, and they're a little bit harder to work with because they are so close to the main highway, which means that when you do connect them up, they do some really wonky things with the nodes and it just sometimes the cars can do some really strange uh, some really cr strange maneuvers so you do have to be, be a little bit careful but um, as you can see the highway is really starting to expand out there are a lot of these ramps that are just swiveling all over the place and connecting up to lots of different avenues around here um, which I'm really quite happy about because it just means that we are going to see like so many cars taking uh, direct routes to the places that they would do want to go um, not to mention that this area is also connected up to two outside connections where a lot of people are actually coming through the city who are just like completely diverting like they're not even stopping at the city they're going straight to Montana um, which is a destination that is still going to be the primary destination for a lot of places uh, sorry for a lot of sims and yeah, I'm really hoping that they will end up taking some of the inside lanes too and not doing some like weird things where they're just like taking random roads and doing some really annoying things. So I think we're going to see a lot of, we're going to see a lot of um, business around here, which I'm quite excited about. I think it's going to be nice to see a city that is just absolutely thriving. Uh, and I do want it to feel very different to Montana. So not just 
a city that is busy for the sake of having like a large population. I think it'd be really nice to see people flocking here for certain reasons. And I think I did mention this in the last episode, but I do have some ideas of how I'm going to achieve um, a bit more of a touristic and casino vibe in this city that's going to be quite different to Montana. Um, but yeah, you can see we're starting to work on some of these um, connections that are connecting up to these avenues. Um, and it was actually about this time where I realized that I'd made a really big, um, well, I guess it wasn't too dramatic, but it was very frustrating, but I did make a poor judgment on the road layout of this city. Um, what I had done is I actually just planned it out as I would have any ordinary city. So I've just sort of like sort of figured out where the roads are going to go, figured out where the highway is going to sit. And then I just started connecting all the avenues and all the um, off and on ramps just accordingly. Um, but what I realized eventually, and you'll see me start fixing this up a little bit later on, but I realized that the structure, um, well, at least the road structure in Las Vegas is they take on a little bit more of a square um, pattern. So you can actually see where the main avenues um, are making this like square grid pattern um, rather than like a more of a rectangle pattern that you usually see in a lot of other US cities. So that was something that I thought would be, I don't know, I guess I didn't have to do this, but you know, if I was going to capture the essence of Las Vegas, I think I really needed to figure out exactly how the road layout is different to places like Montana and Oakwood. Uh, I really wanted to make that clear distinction and I'm sure there's reasons why there is a square um, grid pattern rather than something that is more rectangular. Um, I don't know, like hit me up if you guys do know a little bit more about Las Vegas than I do. But I do think that's like a nice distinction and a, light, and a really nice contrast between the different cities and I'm hoping you'll be able to see that um, as we do develop up this place and you can see a little bit of a difference within the road layout. Um, but because that's the case, it meant that the avenues and the connection to the highway had to be in a different location and luckily I hadn't done too much planning, too much building, I was able to make that change quite quickly which you'll see a little bit later on in this time lapse. Uh, but yeah, what we are still doing, I mean, it's it's very much the case in this episode. We're just making those connections, figuring out how it's going to look. Um, in terms of the detail work on this highway, we're going to be focusing on that in the next episode. Uh, you can see that I'm doing a little bit with the line, um, what's it called? Intersection line tool. But um, I decided I would save that for another episode where we do a little bit more detail work. But I'm just doing a little bit of work on that now just to see what that's going to look like and um, yeah, just get a bit of a vibe of how that's going to take shape. But you can see now, I'm actually starting to work on the road layout. Um, and I decided to keep all this footage in because I wanted you to see how I made this mistake. Um, obviously, this would have been fine if I continued to do work like this, but I just felt like it needed to be exactly right, exactly how I envisioned it. So I decided just to leave this footage in so you can see my thought process and maybe the decisions why I ended up going like changing all this up. Uh, but one aspect that I knew that I did want to keep is this is this road that just goes over this interchange. I just thought this was um, a nice little, uh, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of interesting. I always like it when roads, uh, particularly in like road layouts or like cities that have um, very, uh, you know, they're just on the grid and you can see exactly how they're being planned. Um, and then there are a couple of roads that just like break that rule and you're like, what are you doing? Like, why is that road different to all the rest? There's gotta be a reason behind it. So I don't know. I feel like I spent a lot of time in Google Earth finding those, those roads and trying to figure out why they're so different and why, like what's the reason behind it? Um, and usually, I don't know the answers, it always fascinates me, but um, yeah, <laughs> maybe that's just me. Let me know if you do the same thing, but I spent hours on Google Earth just floating around. Uh, okay, now we're starting to get to the point where I am trying to change the grid. Um, basically what I did to um, determine how my city was gonna take shape, and I've never done it like this before, but I have you know, figured out what the square is going to look like. So I figured out, so I measured it out using just the, uh, just the grids. And that was really easy just to figure out, okay, this is going to be a certain amount of squares. And that's why you can see that I'm also using these streets um, in between each avenue. Um, and basically the way that this is going to 
um, branch out is that the there's gonna be like this grid of squares and they're going to be mostly avenues that are going to be on um, or basically creating those grids uh, sometimes you might see some roads that are going in between but usually like you're not really gonna see it particularly in Las Vegas uh, the roads are very different to anywhere else uh, because I guess the city is structured so differently to um, a lot of other US cities so that is I think going to be quite an interesting way of planning out the city which I am quite looking forward to doing but of course like all episodes this one has come to an end and we'll have to save all that for another one but guys I do hope you are enjoying how this city is starting to take shape I'm really excited for it I know that actually a lot of you are really excited for it too so I'm super stoked that so many of you guys are still just as keen as I am I'm going to give another shout out to some of the long term patrons of the channel. These guys have been supporting me for over a year now. So the biggest thanks to these guys, you guys are absolute legends. Uh, Mike Breeden, Mike and McFarlane, Pablo Hernandez, Booster, Michael, Christian Nyes and Marcus Ola. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very Merry Christmas and I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys.